And Greg, you were talking about this. What you appreciate about this matchup, the team first mindset on both sides. Very unselfish. And we're going to see guys moving the ball. And Kevin, they play for one another. That's why these clubs rack up so many assists. Now Sacramento starting five. Fox in the backcourt with Halliburton to his side. John Collins is out there with Miles Bridges. And it's Robinson in at the five, patrolling the paint. Just three to shoot. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Back in 2020, Jaron Fox signing a massive extension, Greg. Five years and 160. million dollars. Yeah, and Kevin, every NBA hopeful wants that Ooh. second contract. Credit to De'Aaron for working his tail off and earning every penny of that deal. And the second free throw, good. And the Kings look a whole lot different now than they did for most of the 21-22 season. And they were changes that had to be made. Now here's LeBron. What a tremendous game he played against the Clippers. Conley shot is off. Collins against Caldwell Pope. Passes it to Halibut. Fox against Conley. From the stripe. Eyes again, and the layup good by Collins. Becoming a true force on the offensive glass. Love how hard Collins goes after those second chance opportunities. Now here is Davis. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. Now when a team suffers a playoff drought like the Kings have, Greg, you can expect some major moves. And you just hope they can find some stability, Kevin, moving forward. This is a team that's gone through 12 head coaches since the last time they made the playoff. Collins against Caldwell Pope. Shot by Collins, no good. Davis dishes to come. Howard with a screen on Halliburton. Shoots from the block, and Conley puts it in. And what a smart player Conley is. Able to analyze defenses in pick and rolls and make the right read. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, I briefly spoke with the Lakers head coach. He's looking for his guys to put up a terrific performance tonight, especially at the defensive end. He said, we want to use our length and athleticism to protect the rim and make it hard for shooters to get clean looks. This is the first meeting of the season between these two. Guys, we'll see how it comes out. All right, D.A., we appreciate it. They're focused on defense, Greg. We'll see how it plays out. It's going to come down to hustle. And in this league, you have to be very quick to rotate when you're in help. And that's why communication is so important. Guys have to talk to each other on the defensive end. I heard a coach once say that talking is energy, and energy is execution. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. No good from LeBron. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. Here's Fox. Now in the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Man, I like how confident Fox is inside. I mean, awesome. Absolutely awesome. Getting good positioning close to the basket. James, the pass to Howard. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. James against Bridges. Four on the shot clock. Second chance effort. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. LeBron James refusing to be denied. Just muscling through that foul to get the shot off. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And at 78%, he's been a consistent shooter at the line for them all season long. You know, there's been some improvement in his free throw shooting this year. His percentage has taken a little jump compared to last season. Free throw good, LeBron. Man, is it easy to remain in awe of the greatness of LeBron James Clark. This is a guy that just doesn't seem to age. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really one of the remarkable runs in the history of sports in my mind, quite honestly, Kevin. On and off the floor. 
We know he spends a lot of time and money to keep his body in peak shape. He yet is still not showing any real signs of slowing down. We know Father Time is undefeated, but I tell you what, LeBron is giving it a run for its money. Oh, and he's checked in for Dwight Howard. And Robinson that time on the assist by Fox. Boy, excellent recognition from Fox there. Outstanding at recognizing when his guys are open. Finally, the pass to Davis. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Outside, Fox. Back to Halliburton. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Just excellent concentration there by Halliburton. Not allowing the bump by the defense to throw him off his mark. Inside, Fox with the steal. To the inside, stolen by Caldwell Pope. The nine-foot shot, and again it's the Lakers. Once AD gets the ball inside, he's about there. And a little power takes care of the rest. Fox finds Collins. Makes it off the glass. Collins has got his second bucket. Gets the defender to sell out on the pump fake, then flips it in. Here's LeBron. The pass to Caldwell Pope. Pass to Conley. Six on the shot clock. Trains it from beyond the arc. Conley's got five in there. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player. He's called Will Pope. Love seeing that. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. And while it's still very early in the season, the top teams, Greg, have already started to distinguish themselves across the NBA. Getting off to a hot start, always a good sign. But, but don't sleep on the teams that are still getting locked in. A lot can change in the coming months. Substitution here for the Lakers. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Horton Tucker comes in for James. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's TJ McConnell in for Mike Conley. Alvarado. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Just five on the clock. Pass to Bassey. Right for three. They grab their own miss. And he gets it to go. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches. He used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. Horton Tucker, the pass to Naji. Here's Horton Tucker. And he makes good on the way. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. 
A moment here now to see the numbers for Miles Bridges. Lakers leading by three. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first quarter. McConnell, no good on the shot, a bit long that time. Kings have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. Down low. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Nice floor awareness that time from right. Spots the gap and then finds the open man. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But uh, I'd go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. Here's Alvarado. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. McConnell with it. Passes it to Najee. Yes, that goes in. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. To the left side wing. Marjay passes to right. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And that one's good, Bessie. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. McConnell passes to Schroeder. McConnell is screen on right. Schroeder looking around. Poked away. And now Sacramento on the break. The pass to Bessie. Here's Duarte. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one so far. Los Angeles on top. Leading by just one. And we'll be back with you right after this. 17. second quarter fairly close game so far and some stats here guys the scoring breakdown for the Lakers to me it's been the ball movement that's been the key I mean going from good to great not settling for a good shot making that extra pass keeping the defense off balance and taking great shots and on top of that they've been asserting themselves offensively getting a good chunk of their points from inside on the floor for Sacramento they've got John Collins De'Aaron Fox out there with David Nwaba. Then it's Robinson, and it's Bridges in at the three. Here's Howard. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Schroeder passes to Davis. Clock at four. Here's McConnell. And it's off from three-point range. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. They trail by one. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. And two teams here that were evenly matched a season ago as they split the season series. Yeah, they'd settle for 500 against most teams. Both squads win challenge. Perhaps a way to put it. But one of them has got to win tonight. Now here's Caldwell Pope after the miss from John Collins. Schroeder outside. That's good from Howard on the assist by Schroeder. Howard's got the lead up to three now for Los Angeles. And when you think about veteran guard Dennis Schroeder, still such a shifty, unpredictable player. Yeah, he really is because of the way he can change gears and play at different speeds. Very impressive. At his best, when he's putting blinding speed to use, he doesn't always unleash it, but when he does, it's very effective. Waba kicks to Fox. Outside Collins. Pass to Bridges. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Good job from the interior. Bridges just taking his time and letting these shots come naturally within the flow of the offense. No rush at all. Now here's Caldwell Pope. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. 
shoot from the right block. Again, Los Angeles. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Lobbed up there for Robinson. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Here's Fox following the basket by Anthony Davis. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Ode. David. Thanks very much, guys. Growing up, Mitchell Robinson didn't play basketball, but a seven-inch growth spurt in the eighth grade changed things. He fell to the 36th pick overall in 2018, but his physical tools have made him a presence. One key to his success, he says, just run the floor. If you're the first man down the court, you can get the ball. Kevin, that sounds pretty simple to me. It does to me, too. Keep it simple and use that athleticism. David, thanks. Fox, Collins, wide open, he fires. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Hard not to respect how good Fox is in the pick and roll. Excellent at making the pocket pass. Back to Schroeder. Pass to McConnell. Now Davis. Over Collins. Goes back up. And Davis puts it in. Davis has got it all tied up now for the Lakers. Timeout called by the Kings. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and, and try to manage the wear and tear. Some changes for the Lakers. Kelly Olynyk checked in for Howard. LeBron comes in for Dennis Schroeder. And it's Conley in for T.J. McConnell. Halliburton's checked in for Sacramento. Here's Collins. He's got six. Robinson finds Halliburton. Fox passes to Halliburton. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got assist number five here tonight. Very good composure and control that time by Halliburton. Not allowing that physical defense to affect his shot at all. Now here's Conley. Five points in the game. Shoots from the line. Collins grabs the miss. The Kings have gotten all but one of their seven shots in the second quarter to drop. Pretty impressive. Pass to Fox. Collins, a screen on Conley. Fox passes to Collins. And the shot goes in. And now a four-point Sacramento lead. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last ten points have all come off assist. Now here is Davis. Ten points for him. James kicks to Davis. Davis can't get that one to fall. Sacramento leading by four. Outside Cowan. 
against Fox. Shot clock at five. Back to Collins. Trying to get open is Robinson. Shot by Collins, no good. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Davis, the pass to come. To the middle. Here's Olenek. That shot, no good. Collins with some nice D. For Sacramento, they've gone 7-9 and nine in their field goal attempts here in the second quarter. Pretty good offense. And here is Fox. He's got five. Halliburton finds Fox. Jacks up a three. And James pulls it down. James has got his fourth rebound in this one. You know, you think of the Lakers leading up to LeBron James joining them. This was a team that struggled for relevance. And even during Kobe Bryant's final seasons there, they still were a little below par for the Lakers. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Timeout called by the Kings. Angeles with some changes. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. And Taylor Horton Tucker subbed in for Caldwell Pope. One forty three left in the first half of the game. Here's Duarte, James covered, and they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Sacramento? I, I like how they've worked the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. Something else they've been doing really well is shredding that defense by getting all the way to the rack. They've been absolutely fearless in attacking the paint. And we see stars, Clark, that dominate with skill. Others do it more with athleticism. Which would you prefer to build around if you were coaching? If I had to only pick one, Kevin, I obviously I'd like to have both skill and athleticism. But skill is so critically important in any sport, particularly basketball. Guys that can shoot, handle the ball, pass it, and do the fundamental things well. And uh, I think that trumps athleticism over the long haul. Here's Bassett. And that one is stuffed right through. Sweet dime that time from Halliburton. This combo guard has really impressive floor awareness, folks. There's 53 seconds left in the first half. Now Olenek. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Clock is at three. Here's Conley. It's deflected. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. And the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the court. And Olenek at the basket on the assist from Conley. And really the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. Here's Duarte, James covering. 
out to the wing. Jovic hands the shot from the wing. Jovic has got the lead up to seven now for the Kings. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. And so it's Sacramento bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their defensive mindset clearly focused on clapping down on LeBron James, and their game plan is working. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. Welcome. These two have been great. Well, let's talk about the first half and the speed demon, De'Aaron. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. We hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You look at Anthony Davis in this game. He's been everywhere. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Up and forward, the star pairing of LeBron and Davis. Caldwell Pope out there with Conley. And it's Howard in at the center, walking down the middle. That's the group starting the second half for Darvin Ham. Davis against Collins. Yes, and the foul. That one on Collins. It has got to be terribly frustrating to deal with Anthony Davis when you're guarding. I mean, you try to get physical with him, you don't give him a clean look, and he still winds up with the bucket and the foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Anthony Davis. Shooting one. And looking at Anthony Davis, a huge part of this team. Sure is. I mean, along with every team he's been on, this is a superstar player. I mean, no question about that. He can headline a roster full of superstars. Not much on the floor that AD can't do. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Howard with a screen on Halliburton. Outside Conley. Launches a three. They get it again. Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. Sensational at hitting the glass. Howard has fantastic timing when he goes after those rebounds. Howard against Robinson. Here's Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Got that one in the Sacramento lead has been cut down now to just two points with that basket from LeBron. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. Fox dishes to Collins. He feeds it to Robinson. An easy two points on the layup. And it's six points for Mitchell Robinson. A, a big man who does a little bit of everything. Collins' team-first attitude shining through with that terrific pass. Howard with a screen on Fox. Finally, the pass to Howard. LeBron kicks to Davis. Six to shoot. Here's Conley. Outside for Davis. From outside the arc, good on the triple. Davis has got six in the quarter. Well, I tell you what, it's rare that you see a big man with offensive skills like Davis has. He is a talented, rare player. Fox, and it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of the air. Fox against Davis. To the paint. Here's Conley. Got a piece of it. Boy, a really good shot blocker for a wing. Bridges elevates quickly and has an excellent sense of time. Now a timeout called by Sacramento.
Then the shooters check in for the Lakers. T.J. McConnell comes in for Michael Conley. And then for Sacramento, Vincent comes in for Halliburton. And it's DeLon right in for Fox. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Collins, a screen on Schroeder. Count it! And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. It's on Dennis Schroeder. And how about the heart from Collins on that play, working through the foul for the end one opportunity. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One shot. And that one falls for Collins. And Collins has shown to be a game changer on the floor. The, the problem for him has been staying on the floor. He has fought the injury bug his whole career. Fader on the way. And Davis can't get it to go. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there. But he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Here's Collins. Dwight Howard grabs the board. Howard's got four rebounds now tonight. For Collins, he has yet to play close to a full slate of games, Greg, in a single season. Collins has missed time in each season he's played. He's young enough. A few years of good injury fortune can change the narrative. And let's just hope that's the case for his sake. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Vincent misses. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. And that's game two of this string of four games played at home. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Kings have made a lot of moves to shake up their roster. De'Aaron Fox says, I think the mood is definitely better. It's like a breath of fresh air. Getting a feel for each other and seeing the chemistry come to fruition is huge. Success isn't always immediate with trades and signings, so we look toward the future. Kevin, back to you. That's all they can do. Okay, thanks, D.A. To the middle. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, for a guy who's averaged around seven points a game for his career, McConnell really makes his presence felt at the offensive end. He does it largely as a playmaker. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And another thing about McConnell, man, he really brings the energy. Big time, Greg. Big time energy guy. Plays with great pace. Always looking to push the action. And he does so without turning the ball over. And he's a sneaky defender as well. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Olenek, he's checked in for Howard. Zeke Naji comes in for Anthony Davis. And Taylor Horton Tucker subbed in for Caldwell Pope. Here's Alvarado. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Again, the miss by the Kings. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. And there's the pass for Linick. Shot clock at six. Here's Horton Tucker. And the ball out of play. The Kings will inbound. And a moment now to check out the numbers for Dennis Schroeder. He's averaging eight points, three assists, and two rebounds. And every team in the league needs shooting. That's what he brings coming off the pine. Yeah, there's always a demand for shooters, man. Have jumper, will travel. I'm telling you. Most championship teams, they have a bunch of those guys who can put it in the basket. A floater. It's rebounded by Najee. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 16-7 run. McConnell scanning the floor. Right wing. 
Here's Horton Tucker. That one wide left. Here's Alvarado. Massey, the pass for Jay. For the lead. Sacramento again missing the Lakers in the lead. McConnell with it. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. And here is Olenek. Back to McConnell. Over Alvarado. A shot by McConnell. No good. Sacramento's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Alvarado. Olenek is covering. And let's take this chance now to break out the list of the league's leading teams in the steals department. Fourth, the Kings. You can't get careless with the basketball against this group. I mean, they'll pick your pocket and, and no surprise to see them in the upper echelon as far as steals. Free throw missing. John Collins, he's checked in for the Kings. Halliburton comes in for Duarte. No good on the second free throw. You don't see him have too many of those trips to the line. Shooter outside. Pass to McConnell. 11 left in the third quarter of the game. Olenek inside. He's guarded by Collins. Out of bounds. Sacramento will take possession. James checked in for T.J. McConnell. Fox, he's checked in for Sacramento. Here's Fox. He's got seven. 58 seconds left in the third. To end the drought, and it's Fox with the jam. Fox never afraid to take it right at the defense on the drive. An excellent display of speed there. Now LeBron, nine points in the game so far. And LeBron proves it down hard. LeBron showing you how he does it. A stylish flush by King James. Here's Alvarado. Guarded by Schroeder. And the basket by Alvarado. Alvarado's got the game tied up here for Sacramento. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Schroeder kicks to LeBron. And basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. It's obvious they've taken fewer threes here in the second half and are focused on having a more balanced offensive attack. Here's Fox, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Fox has a lot of game. I mean, really good at distributing the ball, getting into the lane, and getting his guys involved. The Kings have hit half their free throws in this one, going three of six so far. And, and on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. Guys, their free throw shooting has slipped a bit since last year, but not really to the point where they should be overly concerned about it. Both shots good from the strike. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm Assist of the Game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. 
Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And a look at the five for the Kings to start the fourth. Pats in the backcourt with Halliburton to his side. Then it's Bridges. Then it's Mitchell Robinson. And it's Jovich in at the fourth. Knocked loose. And goes out of bounds. Last touch by Olenek. Lock at six. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. Pass to Davis. Puts it up from 12. He can't hit that time. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Halliburton outside. Kicks to Fox to take the lead. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. And he's got it going now. When he's in this kind of a zone, boy, he's fun to watch. Here's James. Sacramento grabs the miss. Halliburton outside. Passes to Fox. The pass to Jovich. Robinson left side. Halliburton for three. Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. James in the post. He's against Bridges. I believe Greg last season, LeBron missing the playoffs for just the third time in his career. And Kevin, it, it almost felt surreal to not have him in the playoffs. I mean, this guy's been a fixture in the postseason for almost two decades now. Just another bullet on LeBron's incredible resume. And he knocks down the first one. And you know, this guy simply does not age. LeBron remains a dominant force in this league despite being in the league since 2003. Sacramento making a switch here. White's checked in. And both free throws good for LeBron. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Outside, Robinson. He dishes it to Fox. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's on LeBron James. And for a player of his size, Fox is not afraid to take some contact to get to the line. He'll do it every chance he gets. Shoot two. They throw good. Fox. White Howard's checked in for the Lakers. Hits them both. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Los Angeles. Trailing by two. Pass to Davis. It's deflected. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Now here's Wright. Pass to Robinson. Five on the clock. Jovich. Sacramento again missing. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Outside, Davis. James wide open. Second chance shot. Robinson with the block. Here's Wright. Robinson up top. Great D that time from Howard. The Lakers trade. Caldwell Pope kicks to Howard. 
Here's LeBron. Basket counts. LeBron's got four points in the quarter. Well, just relish and share is what you're watching tonight, folks. LeBron James going off. We are witnessing greatness. Robinson finds Fox. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. And the Kings lead by two. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. Los Angeles calls timeout. Sacramento making a switch here. And the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Lakers coach talk to his team. He told his guys the inside game is working, so stick with it. That means posting, slashing, getting to the rim, whatever produces these high percentage looks. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. LeBron James on the wing. Shoots over Bridges. Here's Howard. And the rejection by Collins. And that shows you a bit of Collins' all-around game and why he's so valuable at both ends of the floor. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Shot clock at six. James looking around. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. Collins passes it to Alvarado. Back to Collins. Howard with the steal. Got a piece of it. And now the Kings fast break. Here's Collins. Passes it to Alvarado. Collins kicks to right. Takes the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. James has got rebound number seven for him tonight. And well called with a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. And the Lakers lead by one. I think Caldwell Pope has done a nice job developing into a legit deep ball threat. Now the pass to Bridges. Outside Cowan. It's right on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Robinson sets a screen for right. Again, the miss by the King. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Collins a screen on LeBron. From 12 feet out, Sacramento again missing. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Inside, and LeBron throws it down. There was no doubt about who they were going to on that. Of course not. LeBron coming through. Timeout called by the Kings.
The Kings trail by three. Six on the shot clock. And it's Fox with the jam. And accepting his role as a leader. Fox wants to come through for his guys in the big moment. LeBron against Bridges. James outside. Shoots over Bridges. James misses. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up with the King. Here's Fox. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. High pressure moment here for the Aaron Fox. No need to rush. Just focus on the hoop. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Lakers. They fed the post all game long, and it's really paid off. Dominating attack from that part of the floor in this one. And also, guys, the confidence to keep taking the three. It's been falling, so they've got to keep going back to it. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. So he comes up empty at the line. Los Angeles has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Here's LeBron. And it's John Collins with the rebound. Sacramento's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Bridges misses. The Lakers in the lead. James with it. He kicks to Howard. Outside Conley. Lakers passing it around. Just five to shoot. Here's James. Plenty of space. And the Lakers with another miss. Oh, it's been a turbulent quarter, really rough for him. Nothing going his way. But he seems determined to shoot his way out of it. Fox against Cup. Bridges sets the screen for Halliburton. Money! He's so clutch. When the pressure is at its highest, that's when he's at his very best. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're behind by one. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Twenty-six seconds left in the game. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by one. Twenty-six seconds left in the fourth quarter.
two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Howard with a screen on Bridges. Bridges against James. It falls! Boy, they're having major trouble dealing with LeBron. Timeout called by the Kings. They trail by one. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And we call those ATOs, or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in a game. against Conley. Fox deciding where to go with it. Even double team. He had the vision to see the open man. So it's the Kings taking the W in a close one.